Hey everyone, it is Professor Lee, and I am going to walk you through um, the Jocelyn Ledbetter EHR Go activity in which you will be la adding a couple of lab orders to her chart. So when you click the link in Canvas, it will bring you to Jocelyn's chart in EHR Go. And, um, sorry about that you will see down here at the bottom that there are a couple of different resources um, that you will need to download. The first one is the instructions for this activity and then the second one is actually this form and it is a handwritten lab rec which you will also be adding the orders for to Jocelyn's EHR Go chart. So back over to Jocelyn's chart. Once you have your documents downloaded, you're going to launch the EHR. After the EHR um, Go chart is launched for Jocelyn, you will go down and click Orders on the left hand side. You're then going to click New. Um, the date will be there. Category, we're going to select laboratory. Again, in EHR Go, it's always easy in the drop down menus to um, type in the first couple of letters of the name that you or term that you're looking for. Uh, the provider for Jocelyn is West, which is Carrie West. Um, and then you're going to use the information provided to you on the first document that you downloaded to enter the lab order. So just for um, example, an example here, I will order a TSH, which is a thyroid stimulating hormone, a T3, and a T4, which are some additional thyroid hormones. Order details. Um, for this order, she does not need to be fasting. However, if she did need to be, then that would be where you would indicate um, those types of things. And then for frequency, it will be once. I'm sorry, it should be now. Um, because as I recall, she's being seen in the emergency room, so you're going to want to put it in as now. I think that information is in the document for you. Um, once is the schedule and the status should be switched over to active. So once you're all done adding in her lab order information, you can click Save. And then close this and you will see that her lab order has now been made active and so that those labs can be drawn um, by the laboratory. So that's pretty much it for adding a lab order. You would then go back in and complete the same process for the additional lab order that is listed in the exercise document. Alright, if you have any questions, let me know.